Five minutes, nigga. Heart down there drop. I just knew when she came out this mother she said I was gonna go to jail. I just knew it. I knew it, nigga. So I'm like, bro. It is what it is, bro. We finna go down ten toes, man. But then she came out of that bathroom and G dot family, you already know what it is. It's your boy G dot back at it with another crazy but 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 banging ass video, man. You already know what's going on with me, bro. I got another crazy ass story time for you, bro. Cause look, I don't know why the f I didn't stop smoking, bro. I could have stopped smoking. Could have avoided this whole situation if I would have stopped smoking, bro. But no, I had to keep smoking weed. And guess what? I'm gonna still do smoke some loud. Before we get into this video, you already know what to do. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you get notified every time I drop a new banging ass video. Also. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, guapboyg and Twitter, guapboyg All links to our social media are going to be in the description below. Go to my Twitch, Patreon, my website, because you already know what's going on with that big three, especially if you want to learn how to make some money on the stock market, crypto market, I start your own business, and many more things. Don't forget to watch this right here. Hey there, it's your boy Gita. I'm a 21 year old entrepreneur and a college dropout. Are you tired of going to work? Are you tired of dealing with your boss and your annoying co workers? Do you want to become your own boss? Well, if you're looking for a solution to your problem, look no further and join my membership today. For only $15 a month, I can teach you how to start your own successful business, how to market that business, how to fix your credit so you don't have any more credit problems, and how to invest your money so you can make money in your sleep on top of many other things. Now, all you got to do to join my membership is sign up in the description below and pay $15 a month. You can make as much money as me or even more. If you want to become your own boss and you want to obtain financial Financial freedom, look no further for a solution. Let's start making this money today, y'all. Alright, look, man, now we back. If you're interested in learning how to make some money on the stock market, crypto market, or start your own business, and many more things, don't forget that that link in the description below. But without further ado, let's get straight into the video. Alright, look, man, this story time takes place with well, shit last year, really. I ain't gonna lie to you. It really started taking place last year around July. So if we all to understand where I'm at right now, y'all gotta understand where I came from for real, okay? Look, everybody know I like to smoke. Everybody know I get high as fuck. Everybody know I get smoking wherever I'm at. Well, I don't give a fuck who around. Like, I don't really care. So it was a usual, regular day for me. You feel what I'm saying? I was running my errands, go ahead and gonna do some stuff that I was gonna do, so I was getting high on the way. It was me and Mac Moolah now, so me and Mac Moolah slide, you know what I'm saying, we in the A, then we go ahead and get to smoking, because you know, that's all we do every day, all day, is we get high. So while we getting high, I'm still driving right, but I peep when I'm finna come up on this damn gas station, and some police officers finna come out the gas station. Now, I know, I got weed on me, and I got weed in the car, I don't even wanna get stopped by these niggas, because I ain't never got booked for the shit, like, no weed, no drugs, no gun, nothing, like, I ain't never got booked, and I don't wanna get booked. I already know y'all finna give me something, like, y'all finna give me a ticket court case summon for this weed so i'm like you know what i ain't really trying to get fucked with y'all today bro i'm gonna go ahead and make this left right here well when i make that left guess what they do get right behind me and it'll make the same left i do so i'm like fuck bro what the hell i already know they following me they right behind me so while they right behind me i'm trying to get off the street because there's a mall to my left so i try to get off the street and try to make another left i guess i made an improper lane change because i didn't wait three seconds before switching lanes right so i switch lanes real quick then i go into the mall when i go into the mall they immediately flag my ass they take me down like whoop whoop I'm like, God damn, I already know I'm going down. So they flagged me, pulled me over, they come into the car, you feel me? It's a white guy and a black guy. And a white guy come into the car, he started talking to me all cool and shit. Then he smelled the weed. When he smelled the weed, he looked at me, he was like, um, do you happen to have any drugs or anything on the car? I said, yeah, bro, because I already knew he was going to find it anyway. He was like, okay, well, are you sure that's all you got? Are you guys weed on you, feel me? Because I told him we had weed. He was like, are you sure that's all you guys weed? Because, you know, I got a drug dog in the back, so you can smell everything. So let me know if you got everything else in the car. I'm like, bro, that's all I got in the Car, bro. I'm not selling no goddamn crack. I'm not selling crystal meth. I'm not selling dog food. I have weed, nigga. So if you want to get this weed, here, take the weed. I'll give you the weed, bro. It's like 11 grand. I don't really give a fuck. I got some more weed at the crib. So I'm low-key blue right now because I'm like, bro, one of us finna go down for this shit. Because fuck them, they got a fake little case. He fighting. I ain't got no case. So I'm like, fuck it, bro. I might as well take the charge because, feel me, you already fighting the case. I got to take this charge so you don't go to jail. Fuck it. I'm finna go ahead and take this charge. My nigga. <laughs> I'll tell him it's my weed. So I'm like, yeah, bro, it's only like 11 grams. This nigga searched the whole car, weigh up every ounce of weed that he could find. My bad. Every gram of weed he could find. Every little piece of weed, every roach, anything he could find that could put on a scale, bro. He found that shit and it weighed us like 12 grams. So I'm like, all right, bro, whatever. You petty as hell. Like, you trying to send me to jail, but it's whatever. I don't really care. So after that, I go ahead and get my little court date. You feel me? Give me a ticket for the weed. I get my court date. Now, my court date a month from now. Now, really, I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. I didn't give a fuck about my court date. I thought I was gonna beat this shit easy peasy, lemon squeezy. You 
see what I'm saying? So I go to my court date. Ha! Fuck you talking about flame up in the morning, go to my court date, high as a motherfucker. Now when I go in the courtroom, kinda get the vibe they're not playing with my ass. You feel what I'm saying? I wait when I get in there and I end up going to talk to the little, I forget what the fuck her name is, like the girl you talk to before you talk to the judge. I talked to her ass. She asked me, could I pass a drug test today? I looked at dead in the eyes and I realized I wasn't in no game scenario. I said no. Huh? She said, okay, you got a month to get clean off whatever you want. I said, say less. Got clean in a month, detoxing the month, came back, passed my drug test, so I got on, like, you feel me, a pretrial diversion program. Now, a pretrial diversion program is basically where you plead guilty, but instead of doing time, you can get wiped off your record. All you got to do is community service and shit and pay a fine. So I'm like, okay, I don't really give a fuck. I'll pay a fine, do some community service. That's cool with a real nigga. As long as I don't go to jail, I'm cool. I don't give a fuck. So, long started my probation. Now, I'm on probation for a year. Now, I started probation in August, and I don't get off until next August. So I'm like, you know, cooling for the first two, three months, not getting high, meeting my PO, calling his ass, you feel me, meeting whatever I gotta do, you know, doing my community service. Well, I didn't start doing my community service yet, but was finna start doing my community service. Had the little uh, drug program I had to do on the side, you feel me? If you actually gotta do that, that's another $110. Community service already 25 hours. Then you gotta pay a fine, it's like six, seven hundred dollars So it was like, what the fuck? Then you got another $44 every month you want probation. So it's like, you know, I don't really understand what's going on, but hey, it's whatever. I'm just blessed I got the money to pay for that shit. So I got the money to pay for that shit. Now, around the third, fourth month bro i ain't gonna lie they had a nigga fucked up because i'm looking like I ain't finna keep staying sober for if y'all not drug test me, bro. I'm going in this bitch, y'all not drug test me. Y'all don't give a fuck to drug test me. Y'all barely asking me any questions, bro. I'm finna get high. So guess what I did? Ever since, like, what was that, November, boy? I started getting high as hell. I'm smoking every day, nigga. Now, I used to take the time, you know, not to get caught by the police and shit. Like, I used to take the time to detox. At first, it was two weeks. Now, I passed for two weeks. Like, okay, let me go ahead, you know, break it down a little. Let me go a week. So I started smoking, you know, stopped smoking a week before my court date. Now, I started doing that. Then I really did it shicey one day. I I stopped smoking like three, four days before my court date, but I didn't get drug tested. So I was feeling cocky, you feel what I'm saying? I'm telling niggas I got COVID, missing that goddamn drug test, doing whatever I want to do, going to LA, smoking some good loud, going to Chicago, smoking good loud. I'm feeling like I'm in the bag right now. I feel like I'm Kobe in his prime, you feel me? RP Kobe. But I really ain't count for this month because this month I was smoking dope, bro. I'm talking about in January, I'm smoking big dope, nigga. This came from Chicago, this back in Atlanta, kicking it, smoking dope. So I'm smoking the dope, but I forget, damn, I gotta go ahead and meet my PO this Friday. It was like like, you know, last Monday, I was like, damn, I gotta meet him this Friday. So I'm like, no, two weeks ago, you feel me? Two Mondays ago. So I'm like, damn, bro, I'm gonna go ahead and meet my PO real quick. Bam, call his ass, tell him I'm in LA. Then he like, damn, you finna miss your meeting. That's how you're gonna do it, bro. I said, whoa, I thought we could reschedule, bro. I didn't know I was missing my meeting. He was like, nah, bro, it's missing your meeting, but we can reschedule for you. It's cool. Don't smoke any weed when you're out there. See you next Friday. So I said, damn, they finna drug test me. I already know what's going on, but I don't really give a fuck. You feel me? I'm still pimping because they ain't never drug tested me before, and I feel confident that I can detox. Now, I go to community service that week, and this will save my my life bro listen to this real quick save my motherfucking life because i go to community service and it happened to be a nigga in community service that was also like you feel me on a goddamn probation for some drug shit so he on probation for some drug shit he look at me we started talking and shit i don't know how we even got cool how we started talking but we started kicking it right we started getting cool and kicking it he tell me how to detox since he told me how to detox i'm gonna tell y'all how to detox look this is how you detox bro you get a gallon of water you drink two gallons of water a day and before you have your drug test the night before you're gonna drink some shit called certoville or certo you're gonna put it in some Gatorade, shake it up real well, drink the whole thing. Then you're gonna drink some more water, go to sleep. Now when you wake up, you're gonna drink hella water. Then for like two, three hours before your goddamn information meeting, you're gonna drink the Certo in another Gatorade. Down that shit, drink a little more water, drink as much water as you can leading up to your court. Well, not court case, but you know what I'm saying. Like, you know, going for meet your probation officer, then go on that motherfucking piss test. Now that's exactly what I did. Now I started trying to get clean like around like last week, you feel me? Like around Tuesday, Wednesday, I had my court case where I had to go meet my probation officer on Friday. Day, was cutting it real thin, my nigga. Drunk two gallons of water, my bad. Four gallons of water, my nigga. Two days. Drunk that Certo shit. Woke up on that Friday like it's time to go. It's time to go. Either I'm finna go to jail or I'm finna get out like a real nigga. So I said, man, is you a real nigga or a bitch? I said, I'm a real nigga. So I drank some more water, folk. Took my damn Certo and shit. Now I got in the car. I went to my damn, you feel me, probation officer meeting. And I got in the car, bro. I went to my damn probation meeting. Now I ain't gonna lie to you. Was I scared when I was in that motherfucker? Yeah, yeah. Cause when I went and I met with another white girl I ain't never met before. I usually meet with black people. So I met with a random white girl. It's busted in that bitch. Hella people in my damn formation meeting today. I ain't got that many people usually be in that motherfucker. So I'm like, what the fuck going on? I go in the damn meeting. Motherfuckers look at me. Goddamn, I sit down in front of a white girl. White girl like, hey, how you doing? You know, having a regular conversation. Then she say, out of nowhere, like, yeah, you got a drug test today. I already knew it, though. I prepared for this, baby. I prepared for this. So I'm like, yeah.
Come on, let me be that drug test. So I go ahead, you feel me, go pee for the drug test. She sent me the cup. She said, you can't goddamn flush the toilet, can't wash your hands, gotta come out right after you do it. So I go ahead, you feel what I'm saying, pee in the cup real quick. When I pee in the cup, it come out clear and not too clear. You feel what I'm saying? It still got a hint of yellow in it. So I goddamn leave the thing on the back of the goddamn toilet. She come in there, she go in there, bro, and I ain't gonna lie. She went in the bathroom, she was in that motherfucker for like three to four minutes, damn near five minutes, nigga. Heart damn near drop. I just knew when she came out this motherfucker. I said I was gonna go to jail. I just knew it. I knew it, nigga. So I'm like, F it, bro. It is what it is, bro. We finna go down ten toes, man. But then she came out of that bathroom and Boy, if you don't get She said that I passed, nigga. She said I barely passed. She said I passed, nigga. I'm a gangster, nigga. Fuck around with you, boy. You don't know about G E. So I passed that motherfucker, and guess what I did? As soon as I got out that bitch, I smoked some more dope, nigga. Fuck around with these motherfuckers, man. He thought he could hold back the Jamaican Don Dada. Even though I ain't Jamaican, I'm still the Don Dada, baby. I'ma get high whenever I wanna get high. You feel what I'm saying? I'ma get high. Did you know what I'm saying? I don't really get off about all these stipulations, all these goddamn things y'all making me do. I'ma get high if I wanna get high. So look, if you gonna get high while you're on probation, remember. Two gallons of water a day, Cerdo mixed with, Cerdo, my bad, mixed with a goddamn Gatorade the night before your trial, or the night before you go to probation, then like the night of, or the morning of, bro, drink Cerdo again, and drink some more water again. I'm just letting y'all know so y'all don't get caught up, folks. It's real helpful information right now. Free game, for free. But that's the end of the video, though, G.I. family. If you like the video, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you get notified every time I drop a new banging ass video. Also, don't forget to follow me on Instagram, GuaboyG.I, and Twitter, GuaboyG.I. All the links to my social media are gonna be in the description below. Put my Twitter. Twitch, Patreon, my website, you already know what's going on with that, you feel me, especially for that website, don't forget to check that out, without further ado, man, we out.